Hello and thanks for joining me. I am Jade from Jade's Floored Up. We're going to be doing a flip cup with a dirty paw. So I'll show you my colours. Let me just straighten you up. The colours I'm using today are the Windsor and Newton Burgundy Bordeaux and I've run out. The next one I'm using up my Global Paint. So this is Peach Sherbet. Yep, Peach Sherbet. And this one is Burnt Umber in Global. So a flip cup with four cups. I'm working on a 24 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. So with that roughly I would need about 620 mils roughly or so. Uh, obviously you allow a little bit more because you've got the deeper sides. So dirty pour is where you're not layering your paints. It's just going straight into the cup. I'm going to start with the peach sherbet. This is a very pretty subtle colour. Haven't used it though, so we'll see. So we will be using more of this colour than the other two because I do know that the other two colours do take over. So a little bit of the burgundy straight into the cup. Umber. I'm going to try and do a bit less of this. Just a tiny bit more burgundy. So now I'm going to finish off with some peach sherbet. Okay. So for a flip cup, you do need to have your paints a little bit thicker. So mine is a bit thicker than I normally would have it. Might be a little bit hard to tell with this brown. I mean, it is just running off, but it is definitely a lot thicker. It is leaving a mound and the trace. Let's chop up some more. So I'm going to do the flip cup. Generally with the flip cup you do, for the majority of people, will go from end to end and do a flip and drag. Um, I'm going to try and flip them all in the centre and then start from the centre out. And I'll end up doing a flip and lip I think. So in these cups you've probably got about 100 mils. 
So four of these, about 400 mils. In here, I have probably got another 200 or so mils. And in this cup, I have a thinner consistency of the peach sherbet, a lot thinner, just so I can maybe pour it around the puddle to help it flow. We'll see if we need it. We'll give them a minute. I haven't laid down a base layer today. I generally don't with a flip cup. This is really pretty all three here already. It is selling up in there. I don't really want a lot of cells. Don't really want any if I'm lucky, but. So no silicone in my paints. I'm not gonna do a flip and drag. I'm just gonna flip it and then maybe lip it. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. I'm gonna see if I can zoom you in on that. Give me a second. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna bring you down. It's super pretty. Sorry. All right, I haven't lipped these bits. These two cups. I'm hoping you can hear me a little bit better today. It is a little bit windy, so I'm trying to speak louder for you, but I am going to look into a microphone. Uh, yeah, let's make a pattern through here. Take that over the edge there. Went a bit deep into the canvas there, so I'll have to go that way first. What I'm going to do is just a just a thin thin line around here just to help it move. And I'm gonna give that go over with my heat gun oh maybe I won't actually let's leave that to the end 
All right, let's just go for it. Just gonna move it around a bit first. For a second, just going to finish off with some of this along my edges. This is just more so I don't lose all my colour. I'm going to take this off first. I was going through all of my paints the other day and I've got a lot of global colours that I just don't use global anymore and I thought they've never been opened I might sell them so as I was going through I found a few colours I'm like oh I love that oh I love that so I'm now keeping them all you never know, one day some inspiration might hit and you might go, oh, I might try this colour combination. Alright. I'm going to go, where's the paint sitting? It's sitting over here. So... We will take that bit off then. Alright, now bring it back. Sorry, I ripped my gloves, I had to pause you. Alright. Oh, they're ripped as well. Not a good brand. Alright, bought it back. I'm going to go over to this corner here. Let's take that off. Okay. Bring it back. over to this corner in front of you.
Alright, off this last corner. Let's have a look at it. What do we like? What do we not like? Not a fan of these lines. I might just take it a bit further. Just take a bit more off. Oh no, I've lost a pin again. That's all right, it's sitting there. Oh no. Let me dry my hands off real quick. This actually reminds me of an ice cream from Wendy's. Can't think of what it's called. Boysenberry. That's what this reminds me of. There you go. Found the name already. I do really like this section in here. I'll bring you in closer in a little while and show you. I really like this section. Um, I'm liking just how subtle this is over here. Still not a fan of this corner. I might take this off. Too many cells in there. Let's see if I can put this in. Don't think I will be able to. Oh. I can't find where the hole was. All right. That's a problem for when I'm finished. All right. See if I can bring it all the way back down. It's not really moving. Yeah, there we are finish off those cells. <laughs> this is super pretty. See how the burgundy takes over though? Love it though. Alright, let's give it a go with the heat gun. Here we are. This section here is what I like. Just a little swirly. So I lost most of those 
big cells which I'm pleased with. This is a bit of a strange colour. So obviously the brown just eh. So I'm happy with that composition. I'm really happy with the colours together. A little bit brighter than I was expecting it to be. But I'm really happy with it. Swirly. So these are the only cells really that I've got. I wouldn't really call them proper cells. There we are. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me. And have a great day.